The sell-off has begun. UK government shares of the Royal Bank of Scotland are for sale, and there's a hefty discount from the original purchase price. It sold a 5.4% share of its 78.3 stake in the bailed-out bank for 330 pence a share, more than a 7% discount from Monday's close. That means the UK government has lost out on more than $1.5 billion. Last week, RBS reported a half-year loss of $238 million. In January, Chancellor George Osborne defended the RBS sell-off. I'm not responsible for the bailout of RBS or the price paid then for the shares bought by the taxpayer, but I am responsible for getting the best deal now for the taxpayer and doing whatever I can to support the British economy. The disappointing return for the UK Treasury differs drastically to their American counterparts. During the height of the financial crisis, the US Treasury invested more than $420 billion as part of its troubled asset relief program. Today, they've recouped all that plus more. The Treasury invested $45 billion to help bail out Citigroup. They ended up getting back more than $58 billion. The same goes for Bank of America. The Treasury there invested $45 billion and got back $49.5 billion. And the same goes for other bailed-out banks like J.P. Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley. Phil Hahn, CNBC, London. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.